Hey, good morning everybody. I'm John Hiley, pastor of Sivian Grace Lutheran Church here in Fairmont, Minnesota, and here with a word of encouragement today. There's so many different stories of so many different places where we go in our lives, and, and today I just want to bring a word of encouragement um, to you, no matter where you are, no matter where your story goes. And it's a, a, a word today coming from uh, a letter from Paul to the church in Rome. Paul was writing about what it is to be human, what it is to struggle with sin, and, and the inner conflict that he felt um, within himself. He said, I do not do the good that I want to do, but the evil that I do not want is what I do. So Paul felt this conflict. And this is in Romans chapter 7. He's naming this conflict out loud. He's saying, you know what I want to do? I want to do things that create life. I want to do things that honor God. I want to do something more with myself, with my life. And he's saying, but here is the struggle that's right here inside of me. And here is the struggle that's right here in every single human being. We are always struggling between the desire to do what is good and between our temptations and are just sometimes bad decisions. And so here I want to invite you today into this question, into this moment. What does it mean that this is our common struggle? And then I want to take you a little bit further on into Paul's letter. So Paul says, I want to delight in the law of God in my inmost self, but I see in the members of my own body another law at war with the law of my mind, making me captive to the law of sin that dwells in my members. And then he said, wretched man that I am, who will rescue me from this body of death? And then he says, thanks be to God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So this is our story. Every day we struggle with temptations, we struggle with trials. We live with the reality of death and disease in our nation and in our world. We struggle with old issues of prejudice and racism, questions of justice, all these things that we don't want to struggle with, all these things that we don't want to have. But Paul is saying they're here and they're real. And so here is where the good news of Jesus Christ meets us. Right here, right where you live, right where I live, in this space, in this space, in our relationships with other people, this is where the good news in Jesus meets us today. So I want to encourage you today, no matter what your struggle is, know the good news. Jesus meets you right here in your struggle, in your fear, in your worry. Know the good news. He came to save you because you can't save yourself. And this is the good news we've got to share today, friends. Think about all the struggles of the world, the pandemic that is in our nation and other nations of the world, the deep struggles that our nation has to face as, a, as we live with deep divisions that have been here for so long, some of which are just coming to the surface for some of us. So let's embrace this promise that Jesus has come to save you, me, this whole world. Let's embrace this good news. Let's keep praying today. Pray for wisdom. Pray for peace. Pray for those who work in service to others. Pray for um, your family, your friends. Reach out to those who might be lonely and isolated today. A phone call, a card, a letter. Let them know that they are not forgotten. Peace. Many blessings. Hope to see you soon.